Ugh, ugh, hair. Do you guys ever have those like hair days where it's just like, what happened to you? Why do you look so awful? Oh my god. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is good to see you guys back again. Today I am starting a brand new series. Um, takes a little bit off of YouTube made me buy it, but this time it is my mom made me buy it. Now, short, short story, long story, too short. My mom is the mother, <laughs> pun intended, the mother of that is expensive. Why did you buy it? I have this makeup from like 1985 that still works for me, Samantha. It's the same exact color that I've been using since 1985. And it works. I don't know I don't know why you go to Sephora and you go to Ulta and you buy all these expensive, expensive items and you just go to the drugstore and find the same exact thing. Mom, I listened to you for once in my life. I went out and I found the same exact things. And I know that if I was to ask you, Mom, would you approve these things based on price alone? She would go, absolutely, Samantha. You're ridiculous for thinking I would ever approve you buy the more expensive one. So here it is. Here is my list of mother approved dupes. Thank you, Mom. Nance, I love you very much. Mwah. Love you much. And here we go. Let's get started. Here is product number one. This is the Urban Decay Naked Original Palette. Um, it retails at Sephora for $54. This is the packaging. If you open it up, it does come with a small mirror. It says naked in it. It has a brush that comes with it, a double-ended brush, which is great. Um, we'll do a little bit of a close-up right there. You can see all the shades. I think that this is a very good palette for almost everybody to have. Um, if you want to do any type of neutral look, if you want to do a, a, like a neutral smoky eye, uh, any basically you can get any type of look out of this palette. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some colors from the uh, Urban Decay Naked and we're going to swatch them. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take, let's grab that out of there. I'm going to take, let's see, we'll start with Sidecar, because Sidecar seems to be one of the more popular colors. So I'm going to swipe a Sidecar and put it right here on my wrist and I'm going to leave some space and you can see it. It is very beautiful. I apologize, I went backwards right there. Um, it's very beautiful. It is sort of a brownish color. Uh, it sits beautifully on the skin. It feels like butter. It is absolutely gorgeous. Can't say enough about it. Beautiful color. So let's try a second. And let's go with. Let's go with, uh, let's go Dark Horse. Dark Horse is right there. It's one of the darker colors in the palette. And let's try and swatch this one. This is Dark Horse. Whew. Dark. Now I know why they call it Dark Horse. Dark. And it is a little bit more in the camera. It is beautiful. Uh, it is also, again, goes on the skin beautifully, um, looks great, can't say enough about it, same thing. And let's pick one more color, we're gonna go with a little bit of a lighter shade this time. Let's go with Toasted. Ooh. Okay, as you can see there is a little bit of fallout over here. It's at the top, which is actually the planner for you guys. Um, same as the other one, it has a little bit of a sheen to color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Urban Decay <laughs> Urban Decay palette away, and I'm going to take out the dupe for these three ones. Palette number two, it is super shiny, so I'm gonna show it to you real quick, and then I'm gonna open it. So this is the Makeup Revolution Iconic One palette. Comes in a plastic case. It opens up like this. Ooh, here we 
opens up like this. This retails at Ulta for $7. So we're going to take this palette and we're going to take the same exact shades that we did in the Urban Decay Naked and we're going to take the equivalent of it and I'm going to do another swatch test. So we're going to take the equivalent of Sidebar, which is right here and I'm going to swatch this one for you. Guys, it's like literally It's right here. Okay, so we're gonna take the equivalent of Dark Horse in the Makeup Revolution palette. I'm going to not give you guys the finger. It's so bright. Guys, I bought a new spotlight. It's so bright. God, today, seriously. Let's see. One, two, three, four. This is Dark Horse in Makeup Revolution. Same exact thing. I'm looking at it right now, and I'm going to say I like the Makeup Revolution one better. I don't know what it is about it that I like better, but when I look at it, but this one is a little bit more of a sheen, and I actually prefer the Makeup Revolution one over that. I apologize, Urban Decay. Love you still. So let's do the last swatch, which is Toasted in Urban Decay. And in the Mega Revolution palette, it is the color right next to Dark Horse, right here, this beautiful purple shade. Now in the Makeup Revolution, it looks a little more purple than um, in the Urban Decay one. Okay, now that my arm looks like a zebra, right here, guys. Seriously, the same shade. The same shade. Um, both are kind of like, it's kind of like a rosé, but sometimes you look at it, it looks a little purple. Um, it's a little weird. You can't really tell the color, but you can tell that these two are the same exact color. Product number two. Now this product is so unbelievably famous and used by everybody. Everybody's like, you have to get this. This one's the best. This one's awesome. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. Angels, doves, the same thing as this for a play box. Angels and doves will come out of it because it'll make your brows look absolutely amazing. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Um, it's good, guys. It's good. I did it today on my eyebrows. Now, this retails at Sephora for $21, which for a pencil is a little bit steep. So uh, it looks like this. I have it in the color taupe. Um, it comes with, it's double-ended. It has a spoolie on one side so that when you want to do your eyebrows, you just brush them up and just a little bit out to get your natural shape. Um, you know, same thing on both sides. And then it comes, let me just put the caps down. It comes with, it's this like tiny, tiny, let me actually take it out a little bit for you guys so you guys can see it a little better. It's this tiny little pencil. And the great thing about this is that you do not need to sharpen it because I refuse to buy a pencil that I have to sharpen because it would be every two seconds that I would have to sharpen this. The small point makes it really good. I'm going to come a little bit closer and it makes it really good to get in to your sparse areas wherever you need it. You just do the really, really small strokes and it's really, really good for that. You know, guys, I mean, this, it's a good product. It is. Uh, it's, it's worth the hype. I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand for you. I'm going to waste a little bit of product, but that's okay. So I'm just going to do tiny little strokes because it's the best way it's going to show up. So this right here, and I can't see, there we go. This right here, uh, I did, like I said, tiny little strokes. It came up like this. Uh, it is, it, it doesn't have any type of like weird orange undertone. So this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I highly recommend it, but will I recommend it? against the mom approved dupe. Which one will I pick? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. So let it, let, I can't talk today guys. Let's move on to the 
Product number two, mom approved dupe. So I have the mom approved dupe in my hand and I'm not going to show it to you for a second for this one purpose. Now a lot of you are probably going to go, Samantha, I've seen this before. I've seen so many dupes for this. This is getting ridiculous. There's so many dupes out there. There's Revlon, Maybelline, blah blah blah. All of those great drugstore brands. Top one I've seen is the NYX. I have not tried it. I'm not a huge fan of NYX. Uh, certain products certain products as you might find out very soon certain products I do love from NYX but I didn't go for the next one I went even further down the price guys even further down the price this is the elf brow pencil um, I got this from Walmart for two dollars was that right yes two two dollars guys two dollars it's like absolutely ludicrous to get something like this and I was like there is no way that this is going to work ever the same way as something like the Anastasia brow is ever so I mean obviously you can tell the packaging is a little sturdier than the Anastasia one uh, it is white instead of black whatever has the elf on it was upside down no I actually got it right this time um, the spoolie on it, and that is one of the reasons why we call it a dupe. Let's see. The spoolie on it is bigger than the Anastasia Brow is, but a spoolie nonetheless. You need the spoolie, honestly. It helps, like I said, to, you know, kind of straighten out and, you know, brush them into whatever structure your eyebrows are. Um, and it does help, uh, you know, put the product a little bit over after you put the product on your eyebrows. Now, this is also in Elf's uh, taupe. So, here is the taupe for the Elf. Now, as you can see, this pencil is a lot thicker in, um, in terms of how wide it is than the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills. So... I mean, in, in terms of if you have thin eyebrows, this may not be the best one for you, but I have not even had an issue with this in terms of even if you guys look like when you get to this point right here, and now I'm going to do a great job today. They're cousins today. They're not sisters. When you get to this point right here, it, if, if you do the same thing that you do with the Anastasia of Beverly Hills and you do small strokes just to fill in sparse areas, get the coverage that you want, that you need, um, this is not an issue. It has that same sort of waxy texture to it too, so you know it's going to stay put. And let me just show you guys, it is this one right here. It's a little bit different in color, but honestly, when you have it on your eyes, you cannot even tell the difference. So, on a budget, $2. Even if you're not on a budget and you want the Anastasia of Beverly Hills, if you run out of the Anastasia, go for this one. If you don't have the money to pick up this one, buy this one. I used this one for two months straight before I had the money to buy this one, and I have no complaints. So. Elf, good job. Congratulations. Fantastic work. You did a great job. By the way, I actually think this will be a little bit better than the other one. But shh, don't tell Anastasia. So, we are at the tail end. We are rounding it out. We are at the final product. Product number three. Not that exciting, I'm sorry guys, but for some people maybe it is exciting. For people like me who have oily eyelids, this is exciting. So the first one that we are going to show you is the Urban Decay uh, Potion, excuse me, Primer Potion, not Potion Primer. Now I got the anti-aging one because dear lord I'm going on 30 apparently. I need to get anti-aging ones now. Now this is the trial size but it still looks exactly the same as the uh, full size package. That's what she said. The full size package. Uh, one thing about Urban Decay is that they know how to make beautiful, beautiful packaging for their products. 
Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to do a full demo, but I will tell you, I have tried both of these primers. I tested them out for two weeks each. Now, the first primer, the Urban Decay Primer, uh, comes in this sort of tannish color, um, kind of like a skin tone color, you know, if you're a pasty like me. Um, but when you put it on your hand, and let's just put some on your hand, I mean, and you blend it in, it does feel really nice, you know, it blends out, it blends out nicely, you know, you can't, you can't say anything. Um, I used this for two weeks, I tried it out. If, you're, if your eyelids aren't as oily as mine, this product would work for you, or maybe I need to try a different formulation of this product, because like I said, I didn't buy the full size because I wanted to try it out before I bought the full size, because it is expensive, it is $24. Product 3, mom approved dupe. Now, I told you guys previously, I don't particularly care for all of NYX's products, but uh, this one is a gem. I found this one in Ulta, and I believe, let's see, Ulta, it was $6.99. This is the NYX Proof It Eyeshadow Primer. This is what I used also, again, for two weeks. I used this in conjunction with the Makeup Revolution palette. I'm going to tell you, I wake up in the morning at 6 a.m., I put my makeup on, I came home and my eyeshadow still did not crease. I don't know if it's because of the eyeshadow or the primer. I'm going to go with the primer because I also used my Tiny Tarte palette with this primer and no creasing. I mean, it was absolutely amazing. And for $6.99 compared to the $24 that Urban Decay is, is it's amazing. It has like the same doe foot, you know, applicator. The Urban Decay one's a little bit longer, uh, but this also, this is like a little bit of like a white consistency. It's a little, it's a little scary when you put it on your lid because it looks like it's going to kind of fall into your um, your eyelashes and mess up your mascara, um, but it's not. You just, like I said, you know, do the same thing that you do for a normal primer. Just put the primer on. Um, I always put my primer up to about here because right here still gets oily too, so up here, even here, and then I make sure that I put my head back a little bit and I get the creases, I let it dry and do this. And um, I've used this <laughs> religiously um, after I tried out the Urban Decay, which I'm so upset about, but I'm just going to show you guys. See, this, it's a little weird because it's, it's this white and it's very shiny and it's a little, it's a little scary at first when you, when you put it on, but once you rub it in and with this, a little bit goes a long way. So you don't need a lot. Like that right there could have covered both of my eyes. Like one swipe would cover both of my eyes because it blends out. You know, if it's blending out, the formulation isn't great, it's really watery. For some reason, I don't know what NYX did with this product, but it works. This is in the front of my drawer, like front and center, ready to go every single day, because I wear eyeshadow every single day. Mom approved dupe, pick in this one. Sorry Urban Decay, I love you. You're beautiful, but it's not working out. So, I'm sorry. I hope you enjoyed this video. My final thoughts are, it's great to have the original. It's great to be able to walk into Sephora and have a full wallet or a full credit card with a limit that you still have some room left on for, for that $54 palette, which by the way, I'm just gonna throw this one in there really quick. I'm such a hypocrite. <laughs> Cause I went out and got this. Look at how pretty it is. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay. Um, but just quickly. Mirror! Look at this mirror, it's so crazy. I can't even. All new shades! So excited! It's on my eyes right now. I love it. But I'm just giving a shout out. I'm just giving a shout out. Okay. I'm gonna put it back now. I'm displaying it. 
that's how sad this is. I'm just playing it. Stay. Anyway, but uh, the dupes that I did give you, I have used. I will continue to use. You know, if, if I don't have money that month, um, I, I'll buy the dupe. Even if I do have money that month, I'll buy the dupe. Um, I do like the originals, but sometimes Mama can't buy the really, really, really nice things. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, give it thumbs up, two thumbs up, and subscribe below. I would like to do more of these. I want to do my mom proof dupes at least once a month, and then I will do a video every week. But I hope that you guys. Ah, ah, my name's stuff. I hope that you guys have a fantastic weekend. I love you all, and I will see you all later. Bye.